Hello, and I'm taking this opportunity right now to share with you information that is just going to open up your eyes just a little bit wider. I told you that there are scripts in previous audio. I told you that there were scripts that man has been using for some time, you know, scripts to keep us just out of the loop, you know, out of the loop when it comes to truth. The public needs to know the lies. But those that are the creators behind the scripts, they know the truth because the public doesn't need to know everything according to the elitists because the public doesn't know sometimes how to handle truth. You know, from that old movie, you can't handle the truth. And so therefore, you don't want everybody to know everything. Only certain people know everything. The rest of the masses, all they need to know is instruction, follow protocol, follow rules, make sure that you do your part. You don't need to know the story. And you know what? Sometimes I believe that's the way God operates with us. You know, he simply doesn't want us as believers to know everything because he knows that we will start taking matters in our own hands. And then when we take matters in our own hands, we mess up God's plan. And then when we mess up God's plan, what happens is it puts a delay on things. And now he has to take us back around to the original plan again. And so just like God has his plans for our lives, you know that the enemy has his. You know that he uses his people, his demons to impact human beings to do his will. OK, and being that we live in a world that isn't just about flesh, it's also about principalities, it's about rulers and darkness in this world, according to the Bible, you've got to know that there is a plan for your life from the enemy. And so the Lord said to me that something big happened, something big happened once again with this Super Bowl business. And of course, with all these award shows, something big happens because men and women those that have much money know that the slaves, if you will, are going to pay attention. They're going to pay attention to award shows. They're going to pay attention to Super Bowl programs. And they also like to put out their tests. Those elitists like to put out their tests to find out what else you view so that certain messages can come across. And so there are those messages that we're going to know about, and then there's going to be those messages that we're not going to know about. And so such is the case with Super Bowl 45. I'm using as an example, and I hope that you will think about these things in the future. For those that didn't tune in, well, you went on about your business as usual. So therefore, information is going to come to you in a variety of forms, and you're not going to think too much about it. You're just going to do as you're told. And, of course, elitists like you, because you don't pay attention to too much of anything, and you go along with whatever they tell you. If it's a conspiracy, you go along with that. If it's a tragedy, you go along with that. If it's of the Lord, you go along with that. If it's of the devil, you go along with that. You go along with whatever they tell you, because you're not really into doing any research. You're not into questioning anything. The only thing you're concerned about are your fleshly needs. What am I going to eat? What am I going to drink? What am I going to wear? That's why God warned us to not be focused on those sorts of things. But the enemy takes us down that path because he doesn't want you to know truth. If you're so busy worrying about your belly, you're not going to ask any questions about what management is doing upstairs on the seventh or on the 15th floor or wherever else. You're not going to protest, you know, things that are going on with various businesses that you support because well you know so what it's just a commercial so what it's just a group you know that just wants to make some money i mean it's not like they're really affecting me but they are they're affecting your children they're affecting those around you and so eventually those issues that other people are dealing with around you are going to become your issues and then you're going to be the one saying why lord Falling out, crying. Why is my child impacted this way? Who told them this? Who made my child act like this? Well, you know, you didn't care, right? Because you're, you're not interested in being in the know about anything. And so for those that do care, for those that want to know what is going on, 
I will tell you that in the spiritual realm, there is much going on and that this woman who is dancing before the masses in a robotic puppet sort of fashion, okay, every, every move is scripted. Everything she wears is part of the script. Everything she says and does is all, all about the script. So therefore, you must know that there is a message being communicated. And that message, quite simply, is that on, a, on an, an occult level, okay, when you're talking about hidden mysteries, ancient gods, and so forth, there's been another move, another shift, okay? And that shift is taking us into another age, okay? Another age that the Lord says is dealing with information, the transferring of information between not just Americans, um, American leaders and so forth, but those that are around the world okay they're not just trading they're not just trading material goods but they're trading information okay information that is classified information that's confidential you do this for me I do that for you you want to know this I will give you X Y and Z for this if you you know it's been going on but it's taken on another level now because thanks to the internet and all of the things that you can do on it thanks to all of these smartphones thanks to all of this satellite this and technological that information is coming across much easier and when this sort of thing happens what we have is a number of spirits that take place that are going to bring down establishments establishments that have long reigned over over countries we've seen the evidences of that in past years and it's happening more and more you tell me this information so that we can get our people to come over into your country and own some more things and get some more things accomplished because see one thing that's going on in the spiritual realm is that the devil is tired of business as usual he's tired of business as usual things that aren't broke and you shouldn't fix well he's going to break them up and he's going to so-called fix them and unfortunately his fixing is going to cause a lot of problems for people you're seeing that in business businesses that have been around for many many years He's overthrowing these businesses, just like he's overthrowing countries and cities and towns. The problem is, is that his so-called ideas are not helping matters. If anything, it's confusing people. It's causing people to turn on one another. The visions that sound good, looked good, are not going to work. They're not going to work. And so you've got crazy minds running establishments that were once stable you've got rebellious young people with a lot of money doing reckless things to over overthrow their fathers and their mothers like what Absalom did with David or at least he attempted to I should say because it was no success he wanted to overthrow his dad he wanted to take over his dad's work and he wanted to basically be king but of course what you have to understand is that if it's not broke you have no business trying to overthrow anyone if everybody is doing well you should have no business going into an establishment and saying that you're going to do this and do that because all you're going to do in the end is further confuse people make matters worse it's better to work with the systems. The Lord said, work with the existing systems. Tweak the existing systems and quit trying to go in and take over. Some people are not ready. They're not ready to be the next leader. They're not ready to even, they're not even ready to safe keep information. But yet these Leaders are putting people in positions that they have not earned and they're not worthy of. But they're doing it because, well, this one knows this name or this one has this little connection here or there. 
but you're not looking at the big picture. The Lord says you're not looking at the future. You don't see things how he sees things. You see things the way your dark God sees things. And what? The, how does your dark God see things? Well, he sees things in the dark. He sees what's in front of him, you know. Just this, this little area he can see. He's not going to look beyond because he can't see beyond. He can't see that light at the end of the tunnel. You know, he doesn't, man, he doesn't want you to see that light at the end of the tunnel either. Because what is his goal? His goal is to ultimately destroy you too. I'm going to use you to a certain degree. And that's to help overthrow the children of light. And then in the end, I'm going to destroy you. So you see, when we were watching this Super Bowl 45 and we got this woman standing up here and she's shaking her behind. Okay. And she's doing a lot of, um, shall we say dances that are representative of, um, you know, casting spells and demonic, you know, um, evoking demonic spirits and all of that. What she doesn't realize is that that same devil that used her to get up there to shimmy and shake is going to one day destroy her sooner or later. That is, of course, if she doesn't, re you know, confess and repent and do all of the necessary things to make wrongs right. But you see, when you got a lot of money and you've got a lot of connections and, you know, you have people that will do whatever you want them to do. It's going to be real hard. It's going to be real hard to humble yourself in such a way where you're going to say, OK, yes, I want the Lord to enter my life and I'm going to start doing things according to the will of the Lord. She's too far deep now. She's way too far deep. And we saw plenty of that. And those of you all who can break down occult symbols, those of you all who are former witches, you know, you know what type of demonic spirit she's dealing with. OK, and so it's going to take it's going to take a long, long time for that spirit to leave. And now that she's got an offspring, the scary part about this whole thing is that you've got generational curses. And those of us who have gone through various processes of deliverance, we know that. You've got to get a casting away of demons, not only from mom, dad, but the casting of demons has to, you know, come off of the children as well. So this, this thing, this spirit is going to be around her in her bloodline for a long, long time. What's interesting is, is that I don't believe it's ever left because there's a certain spirit that comes from the mother of this woman at Super Bowl 45 who has a way of um, evoking certain things to protect our daughter. You see, <laughs> that's old school right there. So I tell you these things because I need for you to open up your eyes a little bit wider because you've got this new age that's coming, this age, uh, or not coming, it's, <clears throat> it's already here. Those that were talking about age of Aquarius and all of that, well, you've got the age of Gemini. And you need to do your research on the age of Gemini. Why? Not because I want you to get involved with all sorts of occult things, but you need to be in the know because you've got churches that are under the same spirit. Because the enemy's minions have went up into the churches. The Lord is telling me this right now. He has went up into the churches. He's used his minions to go up into these churches and have placed the spirit in these churches that are about selling out, you know, the ones that are about money, about 501c3 programs and so forth, that is going to recruit people to work in this age of Gemini. How long does it last? I don't know. It all depends on the elitists, how long they want this around. And they're just going to go around the horoscope wheel. And then what do you do? You just have to open up your eyes, look around, pay attention to the symbols, you know, and they usually use shows to show you what their agendas are, except not you per se, you know, the worker, the slave, but those people around the world, because they can't reach everyone the way the television can reach, the way the internet can reach. So, therefore, those that are in the know, 
will go ahead and do whatever it is that they're supposed to do for that particular age. Okay. Your job, my job is to pray, pray that our people, our people, those that are, you know, in our bloodlines, those that we come in contact with, we pray that they will come to know the Lord, that they will draw near to the Lord, that they will not be swept away by man's plans to the point where that, to the point where they're taking marks, you know, marks in arms, marks on foreheads, marks on, you know, all sorts of places. Okay. Because, you know, there's those that talk about the mark of the beast, but the mark of the beast is, is, it, it's so many different marks, you know, you can be guilty of taking all sorts of different marks if you're not careful. You know, it's not just about one mark. It's a whole lot of marks, okay, to lead up to the one mark. And so, like I said, our job is to open up some eyes and let these people know that particular organization you may not want to join when they come to you talking about, oh, this new group came into town. This this particular church you may want to stop going to because they have you know, evidences of the paganism all through the church. They got the Christmas tree sitting up there, the, the Halloween and everything else. Wait a minute now. What's going on here? Well, they're not what you think. That leadership is not what you think. They do not have the Holy Spirit indwelling because if you do have the Holy Spirit indwelling, you will be convicted. You will be convicted to the point where you're going to say no to certain things, especially those that are of the occult world. Okay. So this performance, as well as other performances, they are all about sending messages around the world to let certain people know, certain groups know what to teach the workers, what to tell the workers. They're also there to recruit those that are even a little bit interested in the ancient mysteries, arts. But the thing is, is that those that are just a little bit interested, even if they are brought into it, the only thing that they're really going to be used for is for time and money. You're not going to be privy to every little itty bitty thing that's going on at the top. Those that are even in leadership don't even know everything. It's the most powerful the ones that move and shake, they're the ones that know all of the plan. And then they can't even agree sometimes on the plans, the Lord tells me. That they have arguments within their own families about plans. And sometimes those within the family that have much money will turn on those that orchestrated the plan and sabotage it so that Everybody who was supposed to be in the know are now confused. Well, I thought your father said, or I thought your mother said, or I thought the group said. But that angry Absalom figure who wants daddy's kingdom is going to turn people, places, things against dad, against mom. So that's why sometimes the scripts don't always play out. Like the elitists want. Because you've got some rebellious folks. That aren't listening to mommy and daddy. Who's been devil worshipping. Eating flesh and drinking blood. And making sacrifices. And going to various groups. And doing some of the most unspeakable things. They're not interested in them. They don't want to listen to them. They want to do what they want to do. And besides, some, unfortunately, because of all the brainwashing, the mind control tactics over the years, well, some of these children of the elitists are crazy. They're just simply crazy. No matter how much money, no matter how many teachers, no matter how many doctors, the crazy child is just crazy. Nothing's going to change. So they give them these positions in these various groups and you've got yourself a psychopath, sociopath, running organizations with all these multiple personalities. And instead of building things up, they're destroying things. Not every elitist 
is working for evil. There are those that are working for good. But, unfortunately, the past catches up. Generational curses and all sorts of evils catch up. And it doesn't matter how much good you do in an evil world. Sooner or later, you've got to pay the devil for selling out. You've got to do what the devil wants you to do. And it's something that those that have reached the crossroads, those musicians that have their struggling careers, lawyers, doctors, teachers, you come to that crossroads and then you have to make a decision. And for some, they make the decision to go back to their ugly ways just to keep their titles, keep getting certain monies. Others decide, nope, I'm going to. I'm going to go to the right. I'm going to follow the Lord and do this. Well, there's a price for that. Either way you look at it, it's a price if you turn left. There's a price that you have to pay if you turn right. So do keep in mind that there is no performance that is in front of millions and millions of people that is to be taken lightly. There is no entertainer that's in front of millions and millions of people that is to be taken lightly, at least for the time being. There are messages that are being conveyed, and if you don't want to get caught up in some foolishness, do not entertain yourself on a regular basis with all of these things. Do not, do not allow children to be engrossed in that sort of activity. Our society is very sexualized. There's a lot of things that get put out here that are not of the Lord. And there should be any parent who loves their children is not going to subject their children to things, at least when they're in their presence. Now, granted, we don't have control over some things when our children are out of our presence, but we can at least teach them enough so that they can be able to at least guard their own minds and hearts as best they know how. So do, do allow the Lord to lead you on a righteous path. And if you have a blog or social networking page, or if you're a part of a certain group that uh, needs to be in the know, use what you know and educate people and show them, show them the mental, the physical, and the spiritual damage that those people and, and those precepts that go along with a lot of these systems how they're hurting, how they're hurting many, many folks. Well, thank you so much for listening, and to God be the glory.